Hi there, it's Women's History Month, and I thought it'd be fun if I brought together some women business owners and pose a simple question that I hope you find helpful in your business or if you're looking to go into business. And I wanted to have them give advice if someone has a seed of an idea, they're thinking about an idea, they're not sure what to do next. They need to take that leap of faith. What advice would you give that individual? This is going to be fun. Hope you find some helpful information. Let me know. Here we go. Hi, my name is Jenny and I own Barn Door Blooms. My business basically is a wedding floral design business where I offer um, flowers and design for weddings. As well, I do workshops and try to create opportunities for people who love flowers to have the opportunity to work with them. One of the things I really specialize in is working with local flower farms and bringing local blooms to people's weddings and events. So that's been an awesome part of growing my business over time. Advice for somebody who's just starting out and stuck and trying to figure out what the next thing is to do is literally just to start. Just start putting one foot in front of the other and eventually you'll start making a small path and carve out a place for yourself. It could be just having a call with somebody who is already in the industry or somebody that you know has had experience in the industry and just starting to grab onto some information and starting to formulate a small plan to work forward. My name is Erin Muddy and I am the owner of Knob Hill Jane, which is a calligraphy signage and engraving studio in Cheshire, Connecticut. Erin, thank you for thank being you. here. I know you're going to give such great wisdom because I know you had a former career and now you've transitioned to this business. I actually practiced law for 15 years um, before I discovered calligraphy. I um, decided to take a, a lesson with a friend just to something fun to do. And quite frankly, really had no idea how much things would change as a result of that afternoon. Not to sound dramatic or anything, but um, it really is true. And, and the takeaway is really just to, you know, try new things and have an open mind. And you never know what you are capable of unless you try. So once you took that class, at what point were you being asked to do this for people if they saw your work? Or I really just, you know, I started an Instagram account and started just posting my work on there um, and kind of quickly realized, you know, I, I became immediately obsessed with all things lettering. I just loved the creative expression of calligraphy um, and felt like I could be good at it with a lot of work and practice. And so I just started really um, doing like a deep dive on like, you know, videos and, and things like that on Instagram to really kind of teach, help teach myself more. Um, and then, and I just kind of was like, maybe I could, you know, maybe I could make a little extra, extra money doing this. My sister is an event planner. And so I started reaching out to different wedding vendors. And just from there, it just kind of started getting, you know, bigger and bigger. Well, I'm Kaylin and I own a movement Pilates studio in Davidson, North Carolina. We've been in business for, it'll be five years in June. And we offer Pilates equipment classes in um, private sessions, semi-private sessions and group sessions as well. Awesome. Now you are unique in that you also have an online component as well too, right? I do. Yes. So I have a YouTube channel that I actually started during COVID when we had to shut the studio down. And um, since uh, March of 2020, we've grown to um, 25,000 subscribers and I'm still putting out videos to this day. So that's been Incredible. fun. Incredible. Like, What step did you take to know that maybe this could be viable? Yes, I definitely said can I do this? How will I do this? Um, and when we moved to North Carolina, luckily we live in a great little small town in Davidson. And we um, had a, a lot of people that we knew that have started their own small business businesses here. And um, they were the people I turned to when I was thinking about opening a studio. I turned to um, friends of mine, um, other just acquaintances that I knew to get some inspiration from them and learn about their experience of how they started, you know, what hurdles they went through, um, you know, help in all different kinds of ways, how they navigated it and what 
tips and advice they could give me. And they were really my inspiration because they've been successful in, in what they did and really put their heart and soul into it. And, uh, and they were the ones that really gave me that, that last little push to go ahead. My name is Stephanie Tischler. I'm a career transition professional and business development coach, and I have been in business for about eight years. And my advice, if you are looking to transition to a different career or even start your own business, is to have a clear understanding of your skills, talents, and passions. And that's a really great place to start. Look at everything you've done, list out all the tactical hard skills, but also the soft skills such as conflict resolution, listening, empathy, then marry them with something that you're really passionate about or work for a company that aligns with your core values. You'd be amazed at how happy you can be at work when you do that first. That's amazing because I think we internalize and we start, we're not sure where to go. So writing it out. And even when, if someone's stuck at that point, asking friends and family that you're really close with possibly could add to that list too. Um, they may see things in you that you may not see yet. My name is Jillian and I am the owner of House of Harmony and I've been in business for about a year and a couple months. I actually specialize in decluttering um, home organization, both for businesses as well as homeowners. I also like to get involved with space planning and helping people kind of figure out their rooms. What can someone do to kind of break through to action and see if they really should either start a new business, start a business, or even just if they're in business, kind of get to another level? Yeah, I would say that that like initial step from, okay, I have an idea, but I don't know where to start. Is this something that could even work? That is like where you just have to take that leap and trust that things are going to work out. If you feel like this is your passion, this is what you should be doing, things kind of start to fall into place. The biggest takeaway that I've um, noticed from when I started my business is just networking. Um, that has been the biggest play in, in growing my business and just getting to meet other business owners and really putting myself out there. I would say that is like the number one thing that you should really focus on in the beginning. And I attended a lot of business networking groups, the Chamber of Commerce, things like that are really helpful. And there's other like-minded business people and also like new business owners. And it's just a great place to kind of get started and get a feel for um, how you can continue to grow your business. Um, so my name is Mary Bykowski and I'm the owner of Touch of Glamour Medical Spa. I'm the owner of a new place opening up called Ivy Lounge, Connecticut. What piece of advice, since this is amazing because you're in that You've now pushed through like a seat of an idea. So obviously with the IV lounge, this was something that came onto your radar and what made you kind of go to the next step or any tip that you can provide a business owner when they have this spark of inspiration or a seat of an idea? Yeah. So um, it's something that I had thought about before and never really kind of pursued. And then um, I've been really thinking a lot towards wellness driven and having um, some close friends who are uh, unfortunately like very ill. And that kind of like got me on the train with it. And, you know, once I get excited about something, like my mind is like, it's got to happen. And I would say the best tip I could ever give somebody is don't worry about anybody else's thoughts. Like if you could do it, you know, who do you think you are? Just be like, I can make this happen. And that's how I try to look at everything. I don't, the naysayers and everything else. It's just like a piece you have to get out of your mind, find a good mentor and the rest usually falls into place. Wow. Those female founders really gave some great information about what to do with a seat of an idea and how to move forward. I loved how they touched on their own experience and being a brand photographer myself, I'm always working with small business owners and I love hearing how they had the idea, how they started, and being part of their growth is amazing. So across the board, they all talked about accessing individuals to help inspire or motivate you forward. So whether it's a mentor, finding a networking group, finding someone in the industry and just simply asking some questions, 
getting that ball rolling is such a great motivator and finding those like-minded people is a game changer. I hope you found this helpful. And if you would love to hear more of this type of content, please let me know. I had so much fun and would love to make more. So I hope you have a great day and see you next time.